Another new product by Viva Decor um, is called the Glass Effect Gel. Um, this is really fun to use. There's so many ways you can use it. You can use it on glass, of course, but you can also use it on anything that might be transparent, um, like an acrylic or a transparency. So if you were doing a card um, and you were using some transparency, you could create a stained glass effect or an etched look. Um, same thing goes on with acrylic. If you have acrylic clear embellishments or an acrylic album, you could use this on. Um, and it's really easy to use, really fun. I'm going to show you a couple things I did and then how to use it. First thing I did is I bought these glass votive holders from Michaels. Um, they were like $1.50 each. And then what I've done is I've used a stencil that Viva Decor sells. I'll show you here. This is one that I haven't done yet, but with the stencil on it. Um, these are kind of a vinyl base. They're sticky. And you just press on, and then once you've applied, you peel it off. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But I used a stencil for this. And I used the clear gla transparent glass gel. And then I went back in and did the dots with my blue glass gel. And another product that I'll show in a different video is this glitter liner. Um, so it has a little bit of everything on it, but very pretty, and especially when you put a little tea light or electric tea light in here, um, very pretty, very economical, and a great gift. And this is one that I've already put the stencil on. Very easy to use. Open it up. It has a nice thin tip, and you just go in the stencil and trace it. You can make this as thick as you want. I'm making mine pretty thin. I don't want, um, because it will be raised up a little bit. So you could keep adding to make it as thick as you want for a more embossed glass look. I'm just doing a thin layer here. You could also, if you were using a different kind of stencil, um, you could glob this on and then take a metal spatula, like the one I have here, um, and you could slide it over it if you were doing all one color um, which would make it a little bit faster and then I took my blue and I just went in on those dots and once you're done you just come in and you peel it off. Susanna will be carrying these stencils um, they can once you're done using it you can wipe it off and let it dry and they can be used quite a few times and I haven't tried it yet but I'm pretty sure once they lose their stickiness you could use your repositionable spray to spray the back and keep on using them. So just a, another tip for you. This is another project that I did. This is a glass vase that I had gotten with some arrangement, probably my husband got me, um, and I washed it and cleaned it real well. And then what I've done is gone and used my glass effect gel. I took stamps and for something like this you want to use um, something that has a lot of clear space. So this is more like an outline of a flower. I used my stays on ink and instead of putting this on an acrylic block what I did was actually pressed it onto here with my fingers really good and then I laid it on my glass and the reason I did that is because this glass is a little bit wavy um, kind of dips in and out or if you had something curved when I placed it down I was able to get a nice impression with an acrylic block there probably were patches um, that wouldn't leave a mark there which would make the pattern hard to follow and then once again I went in and I used my glass effect gel in the blue and in the pink um, and filled that in and let it dry I also stamped some swirls here and for those I used a different product which is a glitter liner um, it's like a glitter glue the difference being is that it is three-dimensional meaning that when you put it on it doesn't dry flat. If you notice most glitter glues once you've used them they dry flat. Um, this has dimension. It's raised to the touch and it gives a little bit more of a 3D look. Not to mention that the glitter factor on these is outrageous um, and very easy to use. These also have a nice thin tip. I had stamped some swirls and I just went in with this hollow iridescent. This is a great neutral clear color and I traced and then I went back again with another product that I had 
is the pearl pen. I have a video on this if you're interested. And you can use this on glass as well. And I went in with the silver and I added silver pearls. Um, and I really was pleased with the effect of all three of these product, products on this vase. Um, you can wash this, hand wash. Do not put it in your dishwasher if you use these products. So just lightly go over it with um, your wet sponge and it will stay pretty. Um, also, if you want to leave this outside, you want to put some flowers in it for your table this spring, it is water and weather resistant. So keep that in mind if you want to even make some pretty votives for your patio. Um, a lot of great ideas and a lot of great gift ideas. And you can also use this glass gel again, like I said, on any kind of acrylic, anything that's transparent, um, an acrylic album or transparency to give a nice stained glass effect. But a lot of fun things that you can do with the glass effect gel. And a little bit more on the glitter liners. Um, again, you get the, all these bottles are 25 milliliters, so you're getting a lot for your money. Um, the glitter liners, they when you once when you put them down, they are raised. They do not go down flat, so they give your projects a nice um, 3D dimensional look. And like I'd said before, the glitter factor on these is just outstanding. Um, and here, you can also make pearls and embellishments with these as well. Again, I've used my wax paper, and I just drew a freehand heart with the ruby glitter liner. Um, I peeled it off once it was dry. So you can make all kinds of fun embellishments um, with this to add to your paper crafts or other projects. And then you could just put your adhesive on the back since it's flat. Um, but it's, it is raised, I don't know if I can show you this a little better, super glittery and really, really pretty. And then I've also, once again, made pearls. Um, this is the Hollow Iridescent, um, which is very, very shimmery, very pretty. Also, they're round, easy to apply to your projects. This is a ruby one. So if you want to make matching embellishments for your cards um, and you don't want to buy packs of pearls all the time, this is a great product to do that. Um, but not only pearls, so many other things that you can do. There's a little stamped image, and you can use these right on your paper crafts. So you can go in, just like any of the glitter glues that are on the market, you can go in and add this. Um, and it gives a nice, thicker, embossed look with the glitter. Um, and again, like I said, it, it, it's not going to dry flat. So it's going to stay raised. Get in here and see this a little better. But you can just see the glitter factor on that. It's just beautiful. Um, and because it is raised, it, I love texture on my projects. I think it adds a lot. Um, and here's the ruby. I'm just going to go in and add some so you can see the two together. Um, but very, very sparkly, um, and I love the 3D dimensional look that it gives. So a lot of fun things you can do with the glitter liners as well. So I hope you'll stop by Susanna's store and check out these products. I assure you, you will not be disappointed um, if you order them. And there's just so many fun things you can do with them. So again, the glitter liners can be used on oops, paper. Glitter liners can be used on paper. Um, glass, like I had shown you on my vase here, you can use them directly on glass, wood, um, fabrics, a lot of fun things. Glass effect gel you can use on any kind of transparent surface, so you can use it on the glass, a transparency, any kind of acrylic, um, acrylic pail, acrylic album, um, so a lot of fun things you can do with this. So thanks for stopping by. Bye.